What up internet? My name is Chris and you're about to watch one of my math videos and I just want to let you know that if you want live tutoring or if you just need homework solutions or if you just want to watch all my free math videos, please visit my website at mathmeaning.com. Once again, mathmeaning.com and I would love to help you out. In the meantime, enjoy my video and take care. Welcome to my video. I am going to teach you how to solve logarithmic equations. And before I get started with an example, I want to let you know uh, some of the properties that we will be using um, in order to solve these type of problems. And I wrote the properties for you on the right-hand side of the screen. And the first property is when two logs are being added with each other, uh, they can be written as one single log uh, with multiplication. And the second property uh, we're going to use is when two logs are being subtracted with each other, uh, they could be written uh, using one single log um, as division. And the last property is a logarithmic equation can also be written as a exponential equation. Um, and that's just uh, the formula that you use um, in order to change the logarithm equation into a exponential equation. So let's get started with this example. So here we have the log base 4 of x equals 2 minus the log base 4 of x minus 6. And the first step that you want to do in solving logarithmic equations is you want to get all the log terms on one side of the equation and you want to get all the rest of the terms on the other side of the equations. So we have two log terms log base 4 of x and we have a negative log base 4 of x minus 6 so we want to get these two terms on one side of the equation and we want to get the uh, other term which is our 2 on the other side of the equation so in order to do that I'm going to add log base 4 of x minus 6 to both sides of the equations um, and bring it over to the other side so I'm going to add that to the other side and we're left with log base 4 of x plus log base 4 of x minus 6 and that all equals 2. And once again the only thing I did was add log base 4 of x minus 6 to both sides of the equation. So now we have all our log terms on one side of the equation and we have all the rest of our terms on the other side um, so we're done with step number one. Moving on to step number two we want to write all the logs on the left hand side of the equation as one single log and we do that using properties one and two um, so notice how these two logs are being added with each other. So since the two logs are being added with each other, we can use property number one. And when two logs are being added with each other, they can be written as one single log using multiplication. Um, so that's the property I'm going to use to write these two logs as, as one single log. So I'm just going to rewrite the log with our base. Our base always stays the same. And notice for property number one, this is going to be our x and this is going to be our y. Okay? And once again, if you're adding two logs, you're going to multiply them together. So we're going to multiply our x with our y, which is just x minus 6. And once again, we have just used property number 1. When two logs are being added with each other, uh, we can write them as one single log um, using multiplication. And of course, we can't forget that this all equals 2. Now moving on to step number three, 
Um, now we want to write this logarithmic equation as a exponential equation. And notice now that we can use uh, property number three, a log base b of x equals r can be written as b with an exponent r equals x. So this is our b, this is our base. Okay, inside our parentheses is our x and our 2 is our r. Okay, and an easy way that I like to uh, remember this is it kind of goes in uh, counterclockwise. You always write your b first, then your r, and then your x. Okay, so I'm going to change this logarithmic equation into an exponential equation. The first thing we do, like I said before, is write our base, which is 4. The next thing we do is write our exponent r, uh, which is 2, and that equals x. And our x, in this case, is what's inside the log x times x minus 6. And once again, using property number 3, we have just changed a logarithmic equation into a exponential equation. Now finally we just have to solve for x. Um, so I'm just going to simplify this equation by rewriting 4 squared as 16. I'm going to distribute the x with the x minus 6, so that becomes x squared minus 6x. I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides. Now notice that we have a quadratic equation, so the easiest way to solve this probably, uh, in my opinion, would be factoring. Um, so this equation can be factored into x minus 8 multiplied by x plus 2. And finally, solving for x, we get x equals 8 and x equals negative 2. And if you had trouble following how I solved that quadratic equation with factoring, um, then go back to my videos um, on how to factor trinomials. And um, that explains uh, how I just solved the uh, quadratic equation using factoring. So we have two solutions, uh, x equals 8 and x equals negative 2. And with logarithmic equations, you always got to check for invalid solutions or extraneous solutions. Um, so we always have to double check and make sure that our solutions are valid. So if you, rem uh, if you remember one of the properties from logarithms, a logarithm um, can never, ever be negative. So if we plug this negative 2, into our original equation, I'm going to just scroll back up to our original equation, notice how if you put a negative 2 in for your x, you have a negative log. You have the log of negative 2. Um, so that's an extraneous solution. That's an invalid solution. Um, so because you can never, ever have a negative log. So a negative 2 uh, cannot be uh, part of our solution. It's, an extra it's extraneous. So I'm just going to erase the negative 2. And I'm just going to do the same thing for the 8. I'm going to double check and make sure that it's a valid solution. Um, if you plug 8 into the first log, you have the log of 8. Um, that's positive, so that's OK. Um, so you have the log base 4 of 8, um, so that's OK. Um, and if you plug 8 into this log, um, then you have 8 minus 6, which is 2. Uh, so you have the log base 4 of 2, which is another positive number. Um, so that is okay as well. 
Um, so eight is a valid solution. Um, so our solution to this problem only is x equals eight. I hope this video uh, helped you understand solving uh, logarithmic equations uh, a little bit better. Um, to check out uh, all the rest of my videos, uh, please visit my website at mathmeeting.com. Uh, once again, mathmeeting.com. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, if you like the way I teach. Um, I also do live tutoring. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and take care.